Hi, everyone watching this. Um, thanks for tuning in and checking out the wines of Sebastian Besson. Um, I wanted to do a quick little introduction to the video. Basically, I'm working on editing all of these different things and getting them up on this platform to share with all of you. Um, and I'm so excited about Sebastian Besson because they're, he's brand new for us. Um, we love Beaujolais. Uh, I love his project. I love his wines. Um, but as I watched through this video, I realized it was, it was probably one of the first ones of these videos I was doing. We did them in three different takes. And basically because Sebastian doesn't speak good English, um, he wanted to break up his English in smaller chunks. Um, I wish, looking back, that I would have maybe brought a translator into these videos just so we can get more out of Sebastian because I don't speak French, which uh, I've started studying in the past week because it's driving me nuts. Um, and I need, I need to do that and I want to work towards that. Um, but in the meantime, this video is a little rough around the edges and it's not quite as smooth and um, easy to watch just because of the lack of communication. Um, and it's just a little bit more choppy. So I apologize for that. Um, I've kind of delegated all the different sections so you can at least fast forward to little blips and clips that you wanna see. Um, but I hope you don't take this video as a, uh, the way that the, that the wines are because these wines are amazing. I mean, the, it's so important to kind of also be able to look at this video and see what he's doing, where he's doing it. He sounds with very simple responses, kind of, I farm organic. Uh, yep, this is how I make the wine. And it's, it's not quite as emoting because he doesn't know how to in English and I wish he could. So my apologies for this video in that regard. But at the same time, these wines are next level. Uh, these, these four different Beaujolais, Beaujolais Village, Morgan, Chena, Juliana, are truly extraordinary, um, have really wonderful different characteristics to it, all from these granite soils and the different little plots in the Beaujolais Village, really coming from just their little village in uh, Lancier. Um, also, when you see the different tastings, I have very cool maps to show exactly where in the crew uh, Sebastian is doing his farming. Um, but yeah, I, a little disclaimer, I hope that all makes sense, and thanks for watching. Take care. Sebastian Besson, welcome. Thank you so very much for uh, joining me today for this virtual visit across the United States. Um, I'm very excited about you and your wines, but I'm very excited to introduce you and your wines to all of our customers across the United States, because your wines are new for, for well, the world, but also here in the US. And thank you so much for joining me. I, I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me, tell me, you know, you have, uh, and, and Sebastian was nervous. He told me, that his English is, uh, is not wonderful, but he speaks good English. So I may need to repeat myself every once in a while to make sure that Sebastian uh, understands what I'm saying, because I talk fast sometimes. Um, so Sebastian, tell me, tell me about your family, because Sebastian Besson, the winery, is new. It's yours. It's only your project. Yes. But your family, has been making wine for a very long time, yes? Yes. Um, um, tell me. My grand-grandfather uh, starts in uh, 1922, uh, make oh. wine with, um, uh, with a farm, with uh, uh, animals. With and animals? Okay. after my grandfather uh, starts, start again, and stop the farm and uh, keep the keep the vines to eight hectares. Eight hectares, wow. Okay. And um, after uh, my father uh, developed the the vines uh, until uh, twenty twenty five hectares. Twenty five hectares. Okay. Wow. Wow. In in. Um, in uh, 2017, I have I come and make my first uh, first wine, 
and we have developed uh, the vines uh, to 30 hectares. To 30 hectares in total, and, yeah, in total, and yes. eight hectares for your wines, Besson. And, and eight for my wine, yes. Wonderful. You know, I, I've noticed in Beaujolais, um, it seems there is a new, a new generation. Um, the, your generation, your father's yeah. children are starting to create their own wine, their own label. And, and it's really neat to see here in America, we love Beaujolais. And it's nice to see the, the new projects from right. families that right. have been making wine for so long. So you yes. are one of those people. It's, it's fantastic. So your great great or your great grandfather started back in the in the early 1920s with 1.5 hectare, and now it's developed to um, what it is today, which is called Domaine du Penois, right? Yes, right. And so Penois makes wine from about 22 hectare, and you make wine from eight hectare, eight. and yes. it's all in the winery that you stand today. Yes, all is here. Yes, all right here. Okay. Perfect. Um, now, so tell me, uh, did you always make wine since you were a little boy, or is it new? Uh, sorry. So, Can you repeat? Um, have you always made wine with your father when you were a little boy, or did you did you start recently? No, no. I have uh, always uh, make wine with my father. You have since <laughs> since you were when I was uh, very young. Do you have brothers and sisters, or is it just you? I have uh, one sister, but not in, uh, in the vines. Not in the vines, okay, not in the wine. She is a chiro chiro chiropractor. You know, in a uh, chiropractor, okay, US. yeah, yeah. <laughs> from US. <laughs> Wonderful. So, when you, when you have a long day, she can, she can work on your back. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's great, that's great. Thank and you. so, Show me, show me the winery a little bit. You, for your red wine, uh, you use concrete, yes? Here is uh, the concrete. Okay. For make the red wine. All is, uh, I don't know if you see, uh, all the vat is, uh, uh, I don't know the name, thermoregulation. You understand? Oh, carbonic maceration. Uh, no, oh. no, no, thermoregulation. All the, the vats, do you see? Oh, wow. They're, they're under, you have a whole yes. system for it. Wow. I don't Can, know what that uh, is. Control the temperature. Ah, okay, so you have concrete with temperature control. Yes. I see. Very nice. And very, uh, very easy for the red. For make, uh, make sure I would like uh, 24 uh, degrees in these vats, it's okay is okay and so you can control that side of fermentation and here is a uh, stainless steel stainless steel and for and, uh, the red wines or for your white wines with penois uh it's, it's for the white for the white stainless steel for the whites and stainless steel and lead, sometimes sometimes for, for the red okay and here i have uh, wooden vats it's it's a little frozen, but oh, here we go. Oh, beautiful! How how old are those? How old is the wood? Sorry, I. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, the reception might not be so great. Wow. Wow, great. <laughs> so, how 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 many hectare liter or how many liters are those barrels? Sorry, I, yeah, uh, maybe you uh, the better reception. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, how many uh, liters are the barrels? In, in the barrels? Um, total or just one barrel? One, one barrel. One? Uh, 5,000 liters. 5,000 liters, okay. And are they French, French oak? Uh, French oak, uh, two, 228 liters. Ah, okay, so for the barrique. Tradi traditional barrels. Right, yes. right. With, with, the, little, yes. with the big barrels, the 5,000 liters, the where are those from? What country? 
in France. They're also France. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. It's all, all French wood. Great, <laughs> great. Yes, all. Perfect, perfect. And with your red wines, do you use wood or only cement? Uh, no, the, the both uh, cement oh. and uh, and wood. Yes. And wood. Okay, okay. For for aging. Yes, yes. Great. Uh, some wine, some wine only concrete, uh, stainless steel, and some some wine, some cuvee, uh, in wood. In wood, great, okay. In, in big tank or little tank. Very nice, very nice. Beautiful. Well, thank you for showing that. Let's, uh, let's go see the vineyards. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sebastian, uh, you are in the vineyards right now, and it looks like a beautiful, beautiful day. And will you, will you show us where you are in, in the vineyards? I'm uh, in uh, Beaujolais village uh, vines. Uh, so here, uh, near the Cru of Morgon, here. Uh, Fleury, Fleury Cru, here. Okay. And Moulin Avant, uh, after the tree. After the tree. <laughs> Wonderful. And, and just so I can show where you are situated, um, I'm going to bring up a couple different maps. So here is France, and in France we have, you know, Beaujolais right south of Burgundy. Um, yes. And then we go into, this is kind of a look of the Beaujolais crew with Beaujolais Village on the south, but then kind of also on the east of all of the different crew. Um, then a little bit more close, close up view of just the crew vineyards or crew sites. And then to show where you are located, um, this map is a little harder to see, but here's a white arrow pointing, pointing to Lancier. And Lancier is where you are standing right now um, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the Beaujolais village. Yes, cool. Yes. Uh, so tell me, tell, tell, tell me about the soil there. Um, you said soils in Beaujolais are very similar, a lot of granite, yes? Yes, yes, all the, the soil in Beaujolais is a um, very different ty type of uh, granite uh, and uh, different uh, deep. A different depth of, uh, of granite, cool. And, and you have, you know... In, in China, the soil is uh, uh, no more deep, and Juliana uh, more. Is more deep. Oh, okay, really? Interesting, interesting. Okay, so with, um, with your four red wines, uh, for Sebastian Besson, you have Beaujolais Village, which is where you are standing right there. Um, yes. Morgan, yes. Chena, Juliana. Um, yes. Do you have vineyards in all of those places? It's your own fruit. It's estate, yeah? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, about uh, hectares, you know? Eight, eight hectares. Yes. Uh, in Beaujolais Village, I have uh, three hectares. Okay. Morgon, one hectares, approximately. Uh, Shena, two hectares. Okay. And Juliana, one. Perfect, one. perfect. And we can, we'll talk more about the differences between each crew when we're tasting the wines. But uh, tell me, like, how do you farm? Do you farm, you farm all organically, yes? Uh, Yes, uh, all the, uh, the eight, eight hectares uh, is organic. Is all organic, great. Uh, I, uh, work the floor, um, the treatment is uh, organic, and, uh, yeah. and that's it. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And do you, um, uh, can you, can you show us some grapes? Yes. Oh, there they are. Yeah, yeah, it, the sun. Oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, was, was 2020 a good year so far? Sorry? Is 2020 a good year so far? Yes, yes. I think it's a very a good, uh, good balance uh, with sugar and acidity. And uh, I think uh, we have a good, uh, good year. Great, great. And 2019 was a good year, and 2018 was also yes. good. 
we have uh, a lot of uh, chance uh, because uh, since uh, since 2015 we have uh, good years. Fantastic. 16, 18, uh, yes. Is great. Very good years. Lucky, lucky for us because we get to drink all all of the good years. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, wonderful. Um, Thank you, Sebastian. The, the vineyards are absolutely gorgeous and uh, I'm excited to see more. Thank you. Okay, Sebastian, uh, we now get to the best part. We just saw the, the, the vineyards and we saw the winery and the cellar um, and now we can taste the wines. We can talk about the, the four wines. So basically, um, if you're watching this these four wines, the Beaujolais Village, the Morgon, Juliana, and Chena, are the four wines that we currently stock of uh, Sebastien Besson. So if you want to try samples, let me know so I can get you the right bottles, um, because these wines are so beautiful. When, when I met Sebastien, uh, <clears throat> let's see, it was, was it this spring, uh, this year? Yes, yes this, this, this yeah. year, 2020. Um, uh, I tasted the wines and I was so thrilled and excited because they really show a wonderful sense of gamay, but also a wonderful sense of, of place, of the area of Lancier for the Beaujolais Village, and then the different crew um, uh, specific sites. So, uh, Sebastian, tell me with your, with your red wines, your Beaujolais, um, what do you make all of these the exact same as each other or slightly different? The vinification? Yeah. Um, the, for the crew, it's the same, same vinification. Okay. Uh, so, so all, the, all the, the four is the same vinification. I, uh, I make a carbonic maceration. Okay. All. Okay. 100% uh, carbonic maceration. Uh, yes, uh, yes, with, okay. uh, with uh, whole bunch, uh, whole uh, clusters. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and um, the fermentation uh, as made with uh, natural yeast. Okay. And uh, zero sulfites. And zero. no sulfites. So, no sulfites. and do you use sulfites before you bottle? Yes. No, yes. no at vinification, no, no at the uh, aging. Okay. And just before bottling. Just before bottling. Okay. So natural yeast fermentation done in concrete in cement tanks, um, all carbonic maceration with whole clusters. Um, and you mentioned to me the Beaujolais Village is shorter time with the skins. One of the difference. Um, uh, I make a shorter um, uh, uh, maceration in Beaujolais village. And, and uh, why? Around 12 days. And for the crew, Juliana, Morgon, and Shena, I make uh, 15 days, 15, 16 days. Okay. And so maybe... So three or four days uh, after. Uh, a more, more time. Okay. More, more time. Which gives more structure, more body, and the Beaujolais village, more freshness and... and Fresh, yes, yeah. more fruity. More fruity. Okay, great, great. Um, well, let's let's taste these because I I absolutely adore these wines. Um, we've only had them in for a few weeks now, and I'm already drinking a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with the Beaujolais Village, 2018. I love these. Your labels, Sebastian, are so beautiful. They're really clean. They have a nice texture. They're really lovely. Um, so, so the Beaujolais Village, um, there's no oak aging, correct, in any of the wines? No. Yes, just in the tank. Yes. Just in the tank. Mm. And how long do you typically age in the tank? How long do they rest before bottle? Beaujolais Village, um, approximately six months. Six months or so. And with the crew? Uh, little after seven or eight months. Great, great. Okay. The, the aromatics of the Beaujolais Village are so fresh. They're very bright, uh, like blueberries, like wild blueberries, wild raspberries, like uh, 
blackberries and marion berries, all the berries. Very developed. The nose is very developed. Yeah. Very it's open. Very open. Very it's beautiful. It's, it's showing itself. Oh, wow. So this, this for me is such approachable, beautiful Beaujolais village. Um, it's very easy. It's soft on the tannins. Uh, the fruit, the acidity is really, really lovely. Um, this has so much wonderful like length. It's very long in the palate with so much fruit and flowers, um, like purple, like violet. Uh, it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. Do you, um, 2018, because the Morgon is 2019, um, yes. 2018 was a hot, hot vintage, yes? Yes, yes. And 2019, no, 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 not no. as hot? Less. L less hot. Less, because we have, we have a spring, uh, a cold spring. Yeah, and, uh, so a very cold beginning to 2019. Yes. Yes. which set, set the ripening in a very different way. And the, the vine in 19, uh, the vines is uh, not developed um, normally, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. take, take more time and uh, after the, um, the maturation is different. Okay, yeah, the, the maturation took longer because of a weird, the, the colder spring. Um, yes, yes. The Beaujolais Village is so delicious. It, it has wonderful, I can tell, you know, the whole cluster bunch. So you have some of that stem quality, but so bright and vibrant and delicious. The acidity is perfect. I love this wine. And the value is incredible. I, I am stoked. Um, so let's, let's try the Morgon. Morgon uh, is, you know, in America, maybe the most famous of Beaujolais crew. We all know Morgon. Um, yep. So this is the 2019 Morgon, which we have in stock. And Sebastian, um, I have a map here of Morgon. And where, where are we located here? Um, the east side, right? Yes, we are, um, we are um, situated in uh, Le Micou, Le Peru, Le Peru, sorry. Oh, Le Peru, Le Peru. Yes, Peru. And Terrain Rouge. And Terrain Rouge. So kind of this general area of Eastern Morgon. Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. This cool. is right. Great, great. Um, for me, Morgon has uh, such a beautiful aroma, aromatics. Yes, very different to very different. To I think more fresh. Yeah. It's very fresh and, and floral, um, has that, that the flowers as well, the, the purple flowers and uh, even red flowers like roses and then very beautiful fruit, very fresh fruit. Mm. What, what, um, how high is the elevation in Morgon, in, in uh, the, the, the vineyard? The, the, vine, the vineyard, um, 300. 300 meters. 300 no, meters. No more, no more, yes. No more than that. Okay, okay. Mm. This is, this, the, the texture changes on this. Uh, it's more serious, but still so fruity and so fresh, so vibrant. Um, there's a really beautiful mouthfeel. Uh, and I think I find this is different than 2018 uh, in the mouth. It's more round, more supple. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's really neat. And it, it's, I think it's exciting to taste Gamay side by side from different areas. Because even though mm. Beaujolais Village is um, not one of the crew, it's Beaujolais Village from Lancier. It's just those vineyards in Lancier, correct? Yes, correct. Yeah, so, it, so in, in essence, we're tasting four different, very specific sites of Gamay in, from Beaujolais. So it's beautiful. Yes. Um, 
we um, many ter terroir different different terroir. Mm -hmm. And again, all different degrees of granite soil, um, yes. gr granitic soils, but but uh, and, and exposition, exposition is in, yes, important. On the, in the Morgon, is the vineyard uh, on a hillside? Is it flat? Um, uh, flat, a uh, little south disposition. A little south disposition. Okay, yes. cool, cool, great. Um, let's taste the Juliana. So, Juliana, yes. Juliana 2018. Uh, this is and actually. Let me let me pull up another cool little map. I absolutely love these maps that. Um, for Fernando Beteta, he's a master sommelier that has put together these gorgeous maps. Let me, we're doing the, the Juliana. Here we go. Um, so in Juliana, where, where is this located? Uh, we, are, we are located in uh, Violet. Violet, right here. Between Violet and Place des Vignes. And Place des Vignes. Cool. So, kind of on the western side of Juliana. This is a very good, uh, um, very good uh, situation for for the vines. Really. Um, uh, exposition east, uh, uh, east, uh, so southeast. Southeast facing. Oh, beautiful. And, uh, very, very good. On a on a hillside and, uh, or or. Yes. Yes. With a uh, with a little. Uh, little hill great yes, literally. okay uh, and, and is this uh, about 300 meters as well or higher no or more? no i think of uh, four, 400 400. Ah, 400 here okay yes uh, i think it, i uh, harvest uh, at the at the end because it's too uh, too high it's so high it takes longer to yeah. mature yes exactly hmm. so this is this is interesting on the nose uh it it feels a little bit more muscular, not quite as floral, not quite as fresh fruity, um, more more earth, more more uh, depth to the fruit. Um, instead of so juicy, it it's more um, kind of dark dark fruit, um, berries, but still uh, plums and and kind of cherry versus just like mountain fresh berries. It's really, it's a really pretty nose and very enticing. It's very, it, it draws me in. I want to, I want to drink this. Very deep, Ryan. Very, very deep, very deep. Very deep. When, when, when you put the nose, uh, I think uh, it's very, uh, uh, crisp. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the palate is so different. Uh, it's interesting also to learn that the elevation is different. This is higher. It takes a longer maturation um, to get to the ripeness for harvest. And the palate is very complex. The tannins you mentioned are kind of like some more strict tannins. Yeah, strict tannins, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, you, when you're at the end of the mouth, you, you have a sensation of um, a tannin, um, um, I don't know the, the name. Uh, Session, um, dry, dry tannin. Ah, dry tannin, dry tannin. Yeah, dry yeah. Tannin, yes. Absolutely. It's um, the tannins are they're they're definitely more more strict, more more intense tannin than the Morgon, uh, but still very enjoyable. Very very uh, the the fruit accompanies the tannins very well. The acidity is not as high, but the acidity is balanced. It still has really nice balance across the across the palate. Yes, the, this wine is very good with a uh, red meat or, mm. or. Yeah, actually, Sebastian, um, what do you recommend food with Gamay with Beaujolais? What is what is traditional? Um, uh, Traditionally in Beaujolais, we, we drink this with um, with uh, sausage or, or pork. sausages. Yes, pork. Sure. Pork, pork sausages. Okay. Charcuterie in French. On the or, grill. Uh, the crew with a uh, red meat or um, 
uh, with a barbecue is uh, super in the summer. Yeah, I feel like this, this with grilled steak, with grilled beef. With a big T-bone. A big T-bone, yeah, yeah, it sounds perfect. It sounds perfect really because the, the structure, the tannins are still there, but then the, the fruit and acid are, are a good match. Mm, it's delicious. Um, so let's do Shena. So this is Shena, the 2018 okay. Shena. And uh, this, let's, let's share my screen again and do the map of Shena. Um, so where in Shena is this located? So Shena, we are located in uh, Onerva. Onerva? Yes, between Onerva and Overshare. Oh, and Overshare right here. So right, right around this zone, right in the yes. middle of Shena. Yes, yes. Uh, I think it's a good um, situation for, uh, for Shena because Shena is very difficult. Uh, at, the, at the left of the map, uh, this is um, Vines is uh, high altitude. They're high altitude, and, okay. And north expo for exposition. And, okay. and uh, at, at the right of the map, it's uh, too, too low. Uh, too low, yes. Too low. So, so Chena is a very right difficult uh, crew of Beaujolais. Okay. And Onerva is a good place. Beautiful. Is, what is the disposition to the sun? Um, uh, no, east and uh, northeast. North, northeast. Northeast, yes. It's interesting because, yeah, the, the nose, it's, it feels more, um, uh, mm, more structure, more, more intense. And so that northeast exposure kind of makes sense. It, it, it takes a different ripening. It's a different cycle altogether as well. Uh, much like the Juliana compared to the Morgon. And um, it's, 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 a really, it's really fascinating. It's a dark, dark, like ripe purple plum fruit. It's not as much berry and it has more animal, more, um, more wild. This is a terroir, a typical terroir. Typical terroir of Chena. Chena. And you, you said that you were working on a new Shena with um, some barrel aging, oak aging. As a new, a new cuvee. A new cuvee, cool. From the same, yes, uh, from the in 19, I have made a, uh, in one parcel of Onerva, you have selection one parcel, mm. and I have made one uh, uh, age one year in barrel, old vines. Old vines aged one year in barrel. Yes. Cool. O old barrel or new barrel? You can try in January, I think. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I would like to. Sounds great, because this, this is special. This Shena is, um, it, has, it has a much different structure. It's more, more grip, more structure, but the tannin, the tannin is, is round. It's not, not uh, aggressive. It's, it's not aggressive, no. No, it, it, has, it has more like aggressive fruit and aggressive structure and strength, but it finishes so soft and so, so easy. Yes. yes, yes, not too hard. Not too hard at all. It's, it's the, a beautiful the, wine. The nose is hard, but it's not the mouth. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. I agree. I agree. It's very different to Juliana. Juliana is, uh, uh, the nose is uh, proportionally with the mouth. But Chennai is not the same. Yeah, it's different. Different. The, the mouth is so, I, I hate to use the word smooth, but it's so soft and supple and easy, and, but structured. It's, uh, wow, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Um, well, Sebastian, this is so exciting. And thank you, one, for letting us be partners together and, and importing your wines into the United States. Um, I am very thrilled to have Beaujolais as a part of the Bon Vivant portfolio. And I think that we really scored having you in our, in our book. It's, uh, you have beautiful, beautiful work, beautiful philosophy, beautiful land, and beautiful wines. Um, thank you very much for joining me and doing these uh, videos with me so that we can share with our customers across the United States. Thank you, thank you.
thank you. Thank you, Brian, for, for you, for Bon Vivant, and thank you for, um, for all uh, um, for all who are watching. All <laughs> all yeah, great, great. Yes. Well, thank you, my friend, and uh, take care, and we will, we will be in touch soon. Take care.